Hey, I'm Ian. I'm playing modern baseball. We're at Long in the Tooth Records in Philadelphia. Run for Cover's giving me 50 bucks cash to add to my record collection. So let's go on in. <laughs> uh, Cerulean Salt, Waxahachie. Uh, it's a cool record. I really like Waxahachie, though. Um, I like more the first record, this one, American Weekend. Uh, was done I th with just her on like a four track or like an eight track. It's like super lo-fi and everything, but I really like the songs on it and I really like her voice a lot. I saw her once at Stay Sweet 2 solo and it was beautiful. <laughs> it, was, it was crazy. I didn't actually know her at that point and I was really kind of blown away by that performance. Uh, this here is Air Vulgaris by Queens of the Stone Age. Not their best record, but it's the record that got me into them. They're actually my favorite band of all time. I really love this band. They're really interesting, creative. Um, Josh Homme is my favorite guitar player. I just saw them twice this year. I had never seen them before. Um, but I went to Austin City Limits um, and they played there. That was my first time seeing them and I was just like, <laughs> with this huge smile on my face the whole time just like oh man totally rocking out and stuff they really kill it and now John Theodore is their drummer and he's crazy he's he's an excellent drummer so I'll probably hold on to this one mm-hmm um, this is King Khan and the Shrine's new album. It's a new record out on Merge which is one of my favorite record labels it's run by the two dudes for or Mac and Laura from Super Chunk, they put out some really important records, like all the Arcade Fire records. I think they put out If You're Feeling Sinister um, by Bell and Sebastian, and also all the Super Chunk records. But this one's really cool. I get like a kind of 60s, 70s kind of vibe from it. There's a lot of strings, horns. Uh, it's got a really cool uh, feel. I'd heard a bunch about King Khan before this record came out. This is the first record I listened to. And I really liked it. This is one of my favorite records of two, uh, 2013. Um, it's cool. Here's the No Effects Don't Call Me White 7 Inch. Uh, this is one of my favorite No Effects songs. Um, just because I heard this when I was like 13 and I was like, oh my God, that's hilarious. Ha ha ha. And when I saw him at like Warp Tour 2008 or something, probably won't get this, but I might get Punk and Drubble if I see it. <laughs> this is. Um, a seven inch by the promise ring. My professor at Drexel, one of them, actually is Darren Walters, who used to run J Tree, who put out Lifetime, Kid Dynamite, New Mexican Disaster Squad, The Promise Ring, Pedro the Lion. It's like to go to bed. <laughs> I mean, he likes us. He's he's like he's like, okay. He doesn't like the music, but he's like he he knows what we're doing. <laughs> he he likes what we're doing. He helps us out. Well, this is something I am absolutely, definitely buying. Haha, <laughs> Eric's pissed over there. <laughs> and uh, this is the Menzinger 7-inch Hold On Dodge. I haven't, I've been searching eBay forever. They were the band that, when we all met freshman year, we bonded super hard over this band. Like, they were one of the first shows we went to. And the first time I hung out with Sean, and Jake and I hung out with Sean, was at the Menzinger's Flatliners show. I actually got hit in the nose really hard. My nose has been crooked, like kind of crooked ever since during the Flatliners, because they're another band that I, I go crazy for. There aren't many bands, like when I go to a show, that I still like just go buck wild for, but the Menzingers and Flatliners are two of those bands. So this is the first Violent Femmes record, one with like all the hits, Blister in the Sun added up. Uh, Gone Daddy Gone, Kiss Off. Uh, this is a really good record. This is the only one I like. We went to Riot Fest this year. Uh, they were playing. We caught the first couple songs and I was like, oh man, those are all jams. And then it turned out that they were playing the whole record, which would have been awesome to see, but we left early to go see Dillinger 4 play an after show. I got uh, I Do Perceive, which is like uh, somewhere in the middle of the Owen discography. And I listen to it before I go to bed a lot of the time on my iPod. So now I can listen to it on my record player. And it's only $10 Cute. and I'm really cheap, so. <laughs> yes, you are. This is a great one, too. If you've ever heard of Tim Barry, the acoustic uh, songwriter dude, he used to be in this punk band, Avail. They killed it. There is a poster 
in uh, the WKDU office, which is Drexel's college radio station. And it's a Veil, Leatherface, and Dillinger 4. They play in Philly. It's so cool. I like. I would kill to see that show. That, that like all three of those bands are excellent punk bands. Um, the record I like is 4 a.m. Friday though. And that one you'll probably recognize simple song from Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4 too. That's how I that's how I found out about Avail. This apparently is some sort of Looney Tunes Bugs Bunny 7 inch. Whether it's a song, I don't know. That's awesome. I love Looney Tunes. That's really cool. I almost bought a Looney Tune, like a creating Looney Tunes book in Barnes and Noble yesterday, but I decided that I don't have the money to do that. This is cool. This is a Super Chunk 7 inch. It says Super Limited, Super Chunk Rule. <laughs> I actually have an awesome Super Chunk 7 inch that I found at Princeton Record Exchange when I was younger. Didn't know who Super Chunk was at the time, but it came out in conjunction with the um, Aqua Teen Hunger Force movie. One side is the Super Chunk song, Misfits and Mistakes, and the other side is the same song, but with Meat Wad singing it. That's actually how I found this band, <laughs> through Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Hey, uh, just got some records. Uh, from Long in the Tooth. If you're ever in Philly, you should totally check it out. Really stoked on these. Thanks, Rome, for cover. Uh, see you guys later. <laughs>